and um, the grant program was started officially 2007 and that's only about two years ago so until today one of the big things that, uh, that we've been somewhat struggling with has been the same thing that rail industry is struggling with on campuses and in, in the university and that's a visibility not a whole lot of people know about railroads and know about rail transportation and uh, for us the visibility has been concentrated to one single spot so far and that was the loan office it was the administrative headquarters the stock room the workspace the meeting space the place where i tried to do some of my work and the place where i took my naps <laughs> so today some of that is going to change with the cn transportation center so with the generous donation by cn we are here today to celebrate the grand opening of the CN Rail Transportation Education Center. With this donation, we were able to create the Student Education Center along with the kind of technology hub that we can use for educational technologies. And not only our group, but also the Center for Technology Transfer, the Michigan Tech Transportation Institute, the Civil Department, and so on. So I think that speaks for the fact that what we are trying to do here is not just about the railroads, it's about building this partnership between different areas and different disciplines on the university. And we want this space to be not only for rail program, but also for other entities at the university. Now we believed since the, since the beginning, when we started the program, that partnerships is the way to go. And I think this is one of the most tangible outcomes of some of the partner, of, of our partnerships with the railway industry is the CNR tech. Um, we hope that the CN Arctic is gonna be only the beginning step. And in the future, it's gonna be expanding way beyond this. And it's gonna, our partnership is also gonna be expand way beyond just us and the industry. We were, uh, unfortunately, Sherry Davy from uh, Sten Senator Stapanov's office couldn't be here today, but I do think we have some of our board of control members. Mr. Olila is here and of course a bunch of other things. We are hoping to have that there's a lot of different stakeholders who take part in the rail transportation when it comes at Michigan Tech. And this is the stepping stone to me. It's not the ultimate goal, it's the first big step on it. So uh, before I turn this over to Matthew Kling to say a few words, I do have to thank quite a few people here. First of all, I have to thank all the REAC, the Railroad Engineering Activities Club students. This is kind of their new home and they've worked really hard over the past six months, first designing the rooms and then setting them all up for today for all these, um, all the opening ceremonies. And I also got to thank Pam Hannon, wherever she is. She's somewhere back there, but Pam has really been the key link in coordinating that everything has come together and we have actually furniture on the rooms. <laughs> and also uh, Chris Codier, from the LTAB or the CTT. She's been really a crucial element also making sure that the space is ready to go today. So with that, once again, welcome uh, to the opening and I'm gonna turn this into Matthew for a moment. Well done, Fozzie. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, it's good to be here this morning. Uh, as Fozzie said, my name is Matthew Glenn. I'm uh, Chief Engineer for Signal Communications for Canadian National Railroad. And uh, Canadian National is a uh, very big proponent of uh, partnering up with universities and uh, we looked at Michigan Tech as a particularly strong university with with Posse's uh, passion for railroading and and just a good foundation of good students here and uh, good location and uh, a good mix for CN so we're very proud to uh, be able to uh, help out a little bit and uh, on a personal level I am a, a tech grad so I've been in the railroad business it's uh, it's a pleasure to be able to represent the industry. I've been in the business for about 29 years, and uh, on that note, I might just add that you know if you're if you're a student and you're interested at all in railroading, I'd strongly encourage you to continue that. Uh, it's been a great career, and it's only going to get better. So uh, we look forward to the partnership, and we appreciate the opportunity to be involved with y'all here, and I look forward to seeing uh, more of you later today. Well, thanks, Posse, and thanks, Matt. Um, President Glenn Mraz and Provost Max Steele couldn't be here today, and they asked me to come and express my appreciation and, uh, and the university's appreciation to see and uh, helping make this happen. Um, 
year, it seems like years ago, and it was a couple years ago, um, Tim Schultz, Dean of the College of Engineering, and um, Wayne Pennington from, from geology, Chair of Geology, and both um, Bill Bullitt and before him Neil Hutzler in Civil and Environmental Engineering, were working with space in this area. And, and one of the concerns was trying to, uh, to make room for, for the rail initiative and the growing rail initiative. And with Larry Sutter in, from the Transportation Institute and Terry McNinch from CTT, everybody really came together and tried to uh, uh, meet everybody's needs and still have the flexibility so that, so that the RTEC could come into existence. But it, it's really the, the, the partnership with CN is what's really helped it make a reality because otherwise we'd have a couple of rooms here and, and not a whole lot uh, to put in them. And just as I look through the, the group, I see, I see Bruce uh, Seeley, Dean of Science and Arts, who's a transportation historian, if you will, uh, so to speak. Greg from School of Business. Um, people, from, I see Bill Sproul and, and uh, a number of people, Dave Schonard from Chemical Engineering. It's just, just a lot of the campus is interested in this initiative. And, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing for the students. It's a good thing for the university. And, and we're going to work to make sure it's a good thing for the industry as well. So thanks again, Ian, and Posse and Bill and everyone else for helping make this happen.